everyone, I'm Tazneem bringing you this week's movie review. Akshay Kumar is a very talented actor. The star can do justice to many different kinds of roles, whether it's action, drama, romance, or my personal favorite kinds of roles for him, comedy. But as everyone knows, there are two different kinds of comedies out there. The smart ones with clever and witty dialogues, and the masala entertainers, the kinds for which you can leave your brains at home. Singh is Bling brings Akshay back as a Sardar once again, and being a Prabhu Deva directorial, from the looks of it, the film seems to fall into the brainless masala category. Let's take a look at the review to see what the film really has in store for us. Is it hurting pretty bad? If you don't feel like this, don't do it. Take care. Next time, stay safe. We can't understand you once again. That girl said so much, and you said so much. I don't understand the story of the story. Singh is Bling tells the story of Raftar Singh, played by Akshay Kumar, a good-for-nothing Sardar who gets kicked out of his parents' home and told to go do something with his life. He ends up in Goa where he meets Sarah, played by Amy Jackson. He is appointed to be her chaperone, except she doesn't speak Hindi and he doesn't speak English. That's where Lara Dutta's character comes in. Akshay's love for Sarah, all the while protecting her from goons, is what the story is all about. As expected, Sing is Bling is a silly and scatterbrained comedy where the story is nowhere to be found. But unexpectedly, the film also manages to be entertaining, mainly due to the talented actors and their portrayal of the characters. The first half is very funny, especially all the moments between Akshay, Amy, and Lara Dutta and their lost in translation mess. Another positive for the film, unlike previous Prabhudeva movies, are the strong women characters. The female protagonists in this film are strong, independent, and completely capable of taking care of themselves and don't need a man to protect their honor. That was a nice change. But despite the good that is present in Sing is Bling, as most brainless comedies, this film provides no amount of realism or logic, and aside for the few funny moments, the movie is mostly filled with slapstick gags and crass humor. The second half really takes a nosedive as it becomes overly melodramatic. Akshay Kumar gave us his serious side so far in 2015 with films like Baby, Gubber is Back and Brothers, so naturally it was time for him to switch things up and it's great to see him back having fun on screen with his comical antics. The film rests entirely on his shoulders and the actor delivers. The star, who is great at comic roles, is completely in his element here. He's spontaneous, airheaded and perfect as the moronic Raftar Singh. Another great addition to the cast is Lara Datta. She is spot on with her comic timing and manages to steal the show in many scenes. Her and Akshay together are the highlights in the film. Amy Jackson looks stunning and kicks butt, literally, in the action scenes. But aside from that, the actress doesn't have much to say or do. The film's music is average. There are a couple of foot-tapping numbers, but nothing to rave about. Sing is Bling may be an incoherent and ridiculous comedy, but because of Akshay Kumar and Lara Dutta's pairing and comedic timing, the film refrains from becoming a complete mess. It's getting two and a half stars on Showbiz India. If you're a fan of Akshay Kumar and Lara Dutta, check out Sing is Bling. That's all for me for this week. Enjoy the rest of the show.